oh my god why won't this GPX file go into Onyx it can't be bigger than 4 megabytes how big is this one 9? how the hell am I going to fix that I'll show you So here we are on Google Earth. This is the best way to do this. If you don't have Google Earth downloaded on your phone and on your desktop, go ahead and do it. It's worth it. It takes two seconds to download. It's free and uh, you can do a lot of stuff in Google Earth. One of the things you can do is you can take GPX files and transfer them down to KML files, which are the smallest versions. Just for instance here, we're going to go up here to file, come down to import. Now I've already got the fat trail, the GPX fat trail, which is enormous. I've got that in my Dropbox already. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here to where it says generic text. Click on that. Scroll down till I see all files and all my files will pop up. And here is the Florida Adventure Trail. Click on that. Open that up. That should pop up in my temporary places and watch this just get filled full of icons and waypoints and pieces of the track that are just stored information yeah that's a lot right so let's just kind of scroll in here if we can if my computer can even keep up with all this so this is why when you get this track and you try to put it in onyx especially if you get the gpx version it won't go in it, it just it fails to load because there's too much stuff so like all of these are just route points, route point number five. So how do we get all of this stuff off of here and just the stuff that we want on? So you're gonna go over here to where it says uh, the Florida Adventure Trail. So I just, I just noticed something. Um, here it says it's a KML file already. I've done this before like three times on three different computers. So my KML file is everything that's in that GPX file that you would get, I've already converted it over to a KML. But the same thing applies, nothing changes. So if you look on here, you're gonna have waypoints, routes, tracks, route points, and track points. So let's go over here and let's open up track points. No name, they're just marks on the track. I mean, look how many there are, there are hundreds of them. So I'll go ahead and click on this track points check and what's that, what that's gonna do is it's gonna take away all those track points off my map. All right, so that's done. You can't even tell because there's so much stuff on there. So then we'll come up here to route points. This is what's really gonna clear it up. So if you click on route points, it's gonna take a minute to open up because there's a million of them, just endless. Click on that. Now you should notice a difference. Yeah, see? So that knocked off all those, those tiny little points of everywhere. Now all we have left are our tracks, our routes, and our waypoints. So you see Big Bend Lookout, uh, Campsite. And likewise, if you didn't want, like say even that was too much for you, you didn't want that, because um, when you scroll out, it kind of still looks a little jumbled. Um, you can go to Tracks. I wouldn't take any of these out, these are the actual roads that you're gonna wanna go on. Uh, routes, same thing. But you can go to your waypoints and you can turn off all your waypoints. So you just have the line that you ride and turn those back on. So now, as I have this the way it's set up now with my waypoints, my routes, and my tracks. So once you've got the routes and the track points, you're gonna wanna highlight both of them and then delete them. If you don't delete them, they're gonna stay on the, uh, on the original file, which will be roughly nine megabytes of information. All right, so now that we've got that, right click, save place as, exist yes it's the same thing all right so now we can go to onyx so you see i already have it here go to my content import select from computer open file so now it's small enough that it fits inside this four megabytes 
Uh, I'm not going to import it because I've already got it. When you do import it, go ahead and click this little button right here, import map into new folder. And what that'll do is it'll create a folder like this and that's where your content will be for that specific thing. Now down here, all your content gets bundled up together. So it kind of sucks because if you go to delete something, you have to go piece by piece to delete it. Um, at least I haven't found another way to delete like the folder and then all the contents in the folder. It just deletes the folder and leaves the content. So that's how that's done for Onyx. Pretty much the same thing with Gaia. All right. So I've kind of gone back. I know in my Florida Adventure Trail video, I talked about how I was kind of off on Gaia, but now I'm kind of going back to Gaia after using Onyx for a little bit. It's, I don't understand. I don't know what my brain's doing, but I'm kind of back on the Gaia train. So it looks like I don't have the Florida Adventure Trail on here. All right, so we're gonna go to Import Data. We're gonna select Files. So now this one you can see it takes GPX, KML, KMZ, FIT, and then GEO, JSON, whatever those are. So we're gonna select Files. We're gonna come down here to Florida Adventure Trail. Open that up. It should start to import. There's 205 waypoints. 109 tracks. Yep, I want both of those. Let's import them. And it is there. So there's all the stuff. Save 314 items. The cool thing about Onyx and Gaia though is you can do all this stuff on the computer fairly easy. And then when you open up your phone, it's on your phone. It just transfers right over. And there is the full Florida Adventure Trail. And you can come up here and you can edit the name for time's sake. We'll just call it the fat. Uh, as you saw there, there is a public sharing. So you can click this and it will show this track uh, to the public. Now this is a track that you have to purchase. I was lucky enough to get it from John through some YouTube stuff. But if you click this and it goes public, then John's basically out of all the hard work that he did and the rewards that he should get for it. So don't do that. If you have something that you make, by all means, make it public. All right, so that was a down and dirty version of how to take large GPX files, condense them down, and uh, switch them over to KML files. Uh, it's also done all on my computer, and I was able to take those and put those on Onyx as well as Gaia. Uh, it's very easy to do on the computer as opposed to on your cell phone. Uh, as always, I will leave a link to everything that I did today and all the programs that I used down in the description. So go check that out. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So this is going to be video two of a three-part series that I'm going to do. The first one I did was using it on your cell phone and downloading everything from straight from your cell phone. This one's through the PC, taking those GPX files and shrinking them down and putting them on as KML files and then loading them into Gaia and Onyx. So the third part is going to be uh, on Google Earth and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to go through Google Earth and map out tracks and waypoints without ever leaving your house. So instead of going out and using Gaia or Onyx to record a path as you travel, uh, you'll be able to do this from the comfort of your own home without spending a dime before you leave to be able to go ahead and map out where you want to go and what you want to do and then we'll load that onto Gaia, Onyx and Avenza Maps. So stay tuned for that, it should be coming out pretty soon. If you're going to be out at the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo next weekend in Stark, please stop by and see us over in the camping area. We're going to have some trucks out there. Uh, we're going to have fires going. We're drinking some beer. So come on by and say hi. Introduce yourself. We'd love to meet you. All right. As always, y'all have a good one. Stay safe. And hopefully we'll see you at the expo.